Okay, just a super quick video. Just want to make sure we know how to do this on our TI Inspire Cast or TI Inspire Cast CX. How to find least common multiples. It's really, really easy. And I want to make sure that you can do this with no problems at all. So let's get over to your calculator really quick and just do a really easy example. Least common multiple, least common multiple. Check this out. Just, I'm sure you're already aware of this. When your calculator recognizes something as a command, it goes from italics to standard print so you just do something as easy as six and nine and I think that that should be 18 shouldn't it it's a multiple right with multiples is 18 so I just want to make sure that we're we're getting that no problem and let's just look at a couple examples really really quickly and see if we can't get this done so here are some examples that I want to do least common multiple um, how about 16 and 24? So least common multiple, 16. Make sure you put a comma between and 24, 48, right? So it's so much easier to do it this way. Let's see what this does. You know what? There are two ways to do this, and I'm struggling because I'm trying to figure this out as we go. But I'm going to try this, I think least common multiple and let's see what happens if we do this if we do 7 over 48 so 7 I'm going to do it just to try to make sure I get it right control division 7 over 48 right and I, you move over with my cursor here put a comma in here and 5 over 24 I have no idea control division 5 over 24 uh, I don't know if you use control division or not. If you use control division, it makes your your rational look much better. For me, that's kind of important. So, what I wanted, this did not do what I wanted it to do at all. Did not do what I wanted it to do at all. But what I, of course, could do is this. I could just take the denominators myself and take least common multiple of 48 and 24 and get 48. So that's all I really wanted. So I guess that's how I'm going to have to do that. So if I was interested in adding one third, and si one third plus seven eighths, then I would just take thirds and eighths. So I would take least common multiple. And I said I, was gonna, I wanted to add thirds and eighths, so and eighths. I think it's going to be 24, isn't it? So it's 24 again. But I really wanted it to do this. I wanted it to give me this equivalent fraction back a little bit. Uh, but it doesn't. And I guess, you know what I'm saying? I guess that is what it is. So I'm going to do one more video, I think, really quick. And that's going to be on this idea of is prime. And um, it's going to be less than a one-minute video. But I think it's something that you want to know. So uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thank you. Oh, and questions and comments are always welcome.